Good afternoon. We're standing here on Fox Hill, just on the southern edge of Haywards Heath. And I'm about to show you around North Haven, which is this enormous Victorian house. As you can see, we're on Fox Hill, which is the B2112. So if I look to my south, that's heading down Fox Hill to the Fox and Hounds pub and Ditchling. If I look to my north, we're up to the town centre that way. So come and have a look around. As you can see, there's plenty of parking here. The house sits on a fabulous big plot. And it was all, if I just give you a quick glimpse, this was, we believe, all one very big house. And we are led to believe, as rumour has it, that this was once owned by a doctor who had something ridiculous like nine children and then extended the property to create this as the doctor's surgery. And the main living room, which is a rather impressive room, was apparently being used as a waiting room. So when you come through the gate, as you can see, we've got this great big garden. From where I'm standing here, so the fence here down to the bottom is 80 feet and at a maximum measurement across the bottom, it's about 100 feet. The family are over there, wave hi, hello. Um, up in this corner, you can see they've got a professional sauna, uh, a cold plunge ball and a jacuzzi. They're not included in the sale, but if someone wanted to buy them, they could. Well, I'm just gonna take you down the garden. We've even got a, a catio there, so the cats are all safe. Now the land behind us, this is all part of a plantation. There is a new development gonna happen down just over the back of us here, um, not directly behind. This is all gonna be a tree plantation, we're led to believe. But down there, there's a lot of, uh, some fields there which are gonna be developed, sadly. There's meant to be 375 houses going in down there and a new primary school. So if you did have young children, that's gonna be a real bonus. And then here, as you can see, we've got the old garden chalet which has been put to very, very good use. It's the DJ studio, it's the playroom, it's the gym. There's even another sort of storeroom here. So if you're one of those that works from home, this is a fabulous bit of space. So lots of extra room. And something we have looked at in the past is the potential that you might even be able to build another house on this side plot. Because I think the house next door uh, was built probably in this one's gardens many, many years ago. When you come around the back here, you get a better impression of the size of the building. Well, obviously it's not the entire property, but you're getting quite a big part of it. So come and have a look inside and I will show you around. But what a great big garden. It's a shame it's a rotten old afternoon, but it is a big plot. So come inside. What a fabulous entrance porch with the shoes. I could do one of those in my house. And let's take you through. So we've got the main entrance hall. That is the front door. So I guess when it was one big house, the front door's there. But I'm gonna take you through to the main room at the front. Look at this. I don't know if you're taking into account these ceilings. The ceilings are very, very high. It's got this huge bay window. That is south facing from these great big windows, but lots of character. I mean, look at this fireplace. There's a proper open fire in here with the logs going. This must be fantastic. And you've got those pretty little ornate leaded light windows with a lovely big room, exposed floorboard. You've got the original uh, panel doors very high ceilings with this cornice work and something else I've noticed you've got skirting boards which are really high and that under that bay window is like a bench seat so we believe that was probably once the waiting room but what a lovely living room and then this room as you can see very much the home office the study the everything else room but this could be a separate dining room which again lovely big high windows and very high ceilings across the corridor great big understairs covered there I won't open that Downstairs loo, all very nicely done. And I must say, I do like this tarred floor, sort of a 3D effect. And then the kitchen, they revamped this. We did sell this house to the people seven or eight years ago, and they've done a heck of a lot to it. But a really cool kitchen with lots of appliances. I won't open it up through there, but as you can see, this is the catio, so the cats are indoor cats. But if you didn't want that, it would make a nice little sun deck as a patio to have breakfast. I like this room with this vaulted ceiling. And then come upstairs. It just keeps going, this place. Now, I mentioned schools. One thing I didn't say, outside, literally across the road, is a bus stop. And that is the bus stop for the Warden Park Secondary Academy School and the bus that's going to and from the town. You can get a bus out here into Brighton or down to the station. Uh, and also Chaley Secondary School, which is out in South Chaley, their school bus picks up here as well. So you've got a choice of secondary schools here. So this bathroom, as you can see, turned into a fab big shower room. So that's one bathroom, remember that. We have the spare room, as we call it. Very nice big bedroom again. I mean, a huge double, again, 
Decent ceilings aren't as high down uh, on this level as they are downstairs, but still very high. And then that's overlooking the side plot. It's a lovely big bedroom there. And then the main bedroom. Come and have a look at this. Who does not want a copper bath? And double-ended copper bath at that. And this is that matching bay window that's in the living room. It's a real show. We're not quite here in the winter, but when these leaves are down, I'm looking through the trees through there, all the way to the south downs in different directions. It's a bit hazy down there. But obviously that plot there is the neighbor's house. Now, if you didn't think that was good enough as a main bedroom, got all the paneling on that wall. Great big window to the front and a proper hidden walkthrough closet. Let's walk through it. Dressing area there, plenty of drawers, lots of hanging space. I believe Sir has been allowed to hang the occasional garment, but not much. We all know the rules. So that's that floor. So two bedrooms, you could say a second bathroom. And then upstairs, this is where the girls live. So we have two daughters in the house who are keeping it very, very tidy. This is that Oriel window you saw from outside. So you can see the field down there. That field is part of the new development that's gonna go in off of Hurstwood Lane. It's only been coming for about 25 years, but apparently it is gonna happen. But directly behind us, as you can see, this is all a plantation. So I believe that is a, a non-development area. That's gonna be part of the green belt section. So directly behind you, you're not gonna have houses. Further down Fox Hill, you will. And that will come in off of Hurstwood Lane and the new primary school will be down there, which will be fabulous news. So here we are up on the landing. So a great big bit of space. Another, I won't open it, but a great big cupboard there. And then we have a bathroom on this level. So all been revamped as well. Proper bathroom. And then we've got two decent bedrooms. So a nice size double, very tidy with dressing table and that view, even better view from this side. Again, when the leaves are down, it'd be really fab. But a good size. And then the front bedroom, plenty more space and room for another great big double bed. So they're four whopping big bedrooms. When we come out the front here, you can either see where you're... So that's the bus stop, which is going into town that way. And I think it's a touch further up to get on the bus to go south. So as mentioned, if you're looking at schools, we're on the southern side of Hayward Heath, but this is the Warden Park Secondary Academy School catchment area. And your nearest primary school at the moment is either Northlands Wood or St Wilfrid's. And we, th we think this whole Fox Hill area is a very nice area. I used to live in the road opposite myself. And you've always got to get in the car to go everywhere from this side of town, really. But once they put that primary school in, it's going to make it. So remember that bedroom, the master with the copper bath. And I'll just finish off again downstairs just to take it in because it's such a big sprawling house. I think it's about 2,000 square feet. So it's quite a chunky uh, Victorian house. And then just to have another quick look. Kitchen there. Downstairs loo. The study or dining room. And of course, that fabulous living room. Bring on the winter. Let's get that fire lit. Hopefully when you come to do viewings, we can have uh, the fire going in here. But what, and this room is so big. You've uh, it almost echoes. But there you go. That is North Haven on Fox Hill for sale through Mansell McTaggart. If you're not following us on this YouTube channel, please do so. And any comments or feedback you've got for us on these videos, is there anything you'd like us to change or not do? Do let us know. We're all ears. Thanks for watching.